Hey guys, welcome if you're new or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something I haven't done on this channel and I also just generally haven't done in a little bit and that's redrawing something from a while ago. This piece is kind of particularly special because it was the first thing I ever posted on my Tumblr, which yeah, I know, Tumblr, bad, but it kind of marks the five year anniversary of me putting art online, so it's kind of important to me. So I wanted to redraw it and see how exactly I would change it if I were to do it nowadays. So that's kind of what I did. Um, if you're uninitiated, this is a drawing of Patrick Stump from the way he looked in the Youngblood Chronicles, which was this big ol' music video series that they did. And I don't know, I just really like, I mean, Patrick's my favorite member of the band, and he was back in 2014 when I made this, um, but I just really like it. For context, I think I was, it was 2014, I was 13, because it was at like the start of the year when I made it, and I'm 18 now, so yep, it's been five years. When I look at the piece, when I'm recording this voiceover, it's kind of interesting because it's not as objectively bad as a lot of the other stuff I did in 2014, which I don't like to like, I don't think artists should talk down about their work, but like just genuinely, a lot of the artwork that I did in 2014 wasn't particularly good, like it was really rushed. But with this piece, I remember I watched a specific speed paint of Marina and the Diamonds, and I'll link it in the description because I feel like it really affected the way that I produce art, but I watched that and I was like, damn, I can do that too. And so I tried to, and I just sat down all in one day and I did it. And there are some parts that aren't terrible, but I think in general, I'm happy with how far I've come in terms of artwork. So in terms of what I wanted to change from the original illustration, one of the big things for me was trying to make it look more like an act representation of Patrick Stump because while I feel like the original does work as a painting of a dude, it doesn't capture his likeness at all really and I think that was just by virtue of me not having drawn him a lot at that point. Like me drawing this now, obviously I have five years of drawing Patrick Stump on and off again uh, under my belt, so I just feel like I'm more familiar with his face. Like genuinely I didn't have to look at a reference for what his face looked like, like I've drawn him that much. So I feel like uh, that improvement kind of just came with repetition and like muscle memory. Like I just, I know what this dude looks like and I wanted to show that I know what this dude looks like. Also something I wanted to improve on was just kind of the values of everything because if you look at the original you can see that there is a light source and it's coming in from the right and going over to the left and while I think you can kind of see that like you can see it clearly on the jacket you can't really see it anywhere else and plus like his skin color and the color of his shirt are like the same value so like if you turn it black and white they just melt into the same color gray so i really wanted to make sure that all of the forms that i put down were really visible no matter if it was in black and white or uh in color and you can kind of see me especially later when i start rendering the jacket and stuff you can really see me put on the black and white filter just so i am making sure as i go along that it looks right Another thing that I wanted to kind of improve upon was the color choices. I feel like I really just kind of went for it without thinking about anything when I chose some of the colors for the original. Like the original one had that ugly, really saturated orange red color and then his skin is just really saturated and I feel like his hair is too light. Like I knew in my head like, oh yeah, Patrick Stump has light brown hair but I feel like I made it like almost strawberry blonde, which while I feel like works in some contexts, this one particularly where he's like bloody and dirty doesn't really work. So yeah, I wanted to improve upon that. Also, I wanted to improve upon the colors because there's so much saturation going on in his hair and his skin and the shirt, but then when I got to the coat and the cardigan, like there, it doesn't have any color to it and I feel like I really, I don't know, I missed kind of the mark on that one. Like I just feel like it doesn't look as effective as it could. Also, the 
pose I wanted to help because the composition of the one on the left is really interesting and while in all fairness I was in middle school and I had not had the formal education on composition that I have now, uh, it, like I just don't know why I thought just having him standing there off to the left was good. Like it just doesn't do anything for me and his pose too like I don't know, the character in the actual music video series, the character that Patrick plays, he's like a maniac who's being possessed and brainwashed by whatever. I don't I don't feel like going into the plot of that right now, that's a whole other video. But like he's supposed to be this uh like, you know, brainwashed guy, but yet on the left he just kinda looks like dumbfounded, like He's not gonna like kill you or anything, he's just gonna like gawk at you. It's like you like, you're driving a car and you stopped right in front of him and he like just looks a little bit like pissed off. Like it doesn't do anything for me. So on the new one I tried to change that and I made his uh, posture kind of really um, overwhelming on the page. Like you know you can't really avoid him, like he is there and he's like about to kill you. But yeah. Um, just kind of talking about my general process for this. I think it was like about the same. I don't like it was five years ago, so I don't remember how it was to actually create the piece on the left. But um, what I did, and this is kind of retroactively explaining what I did, so sorry about that. But I initially did like a loose sketch to get the kind of gesture and the pose down. And then I did a more detailed sketch, which I guess is kind of like the line art in this scenario, but it wasn't. And never, it was never intended to be line art to kind of get the details down and I used references for his clothes because that's something else I didn't do. His outfit looks like not, it just does not look like what it does in the video so I really wanted to make sure that I made it look like the one in the video in the new illustration. And then I laid down flat colors. You'll see me do like, it was like red in the background and then I made his whole silhouette teal. And I did that because when I added the colors on top of that, I I had that layer down to like 90% instead of a whole 100. So the kind of teal peeks through a bit and it blends all the colors together. And then I just went on top of that and I started rendering. And you'll see a kind of shift in the saturation of the colors like halfway through. And that's because from day one to day two, I came back and I looked at it and I was like, you know, I get that Patrick Stump's supposed to be like kind of dead and gross looking, but I don't think he's supposed to be that gross. So I just like popped a saturation uh, filter on top of it to kind of just make it look better. And I'm really glad I did that because I feel like the teal kind of really balances well with the uh, reds and the oranges that are going on in it now. But yeah, that was kind of my process throughout this whole illustration. Um, I would like to do this more with other old art that I have and other art that I am less proud of than this one because while this one is like, you know, kind of a milestone one, I'm still pretty proud of, like, I'm not proud of it, but I'm not unproud of it either. So I'm glad I improved and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in seeing me do more redraws of old questionable quality band fan art, then let me know because don't worry, I have a ton of it. And yeah, do all the fun YouTube things like like and comment and subscribe and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye!